So this is Josh, his girlfriend Heidi says that he's gone from clean cut to caveman. And she says, ah, I can't wait to see this. No. She says it's been so long since uh, she's seen his face, she can't remember what he looks like under there. Let's take a look. I like Josh's look. I just want it to be a little less um, hairy. <laughs> so I say, can I just cut this off right here? 38-year-old Josh hasn't shaved or had a haircut in, well, years. When I first met Josh, he looked a lot like this, except his hair was longer and his beard was longer. I remember being kind of afraid to kiss him for the first time because I didn't know where his mouth was. <laughs> Once I left the military, I started growing my hair and quit shaving. When I ask him if I can trim it, he usually says no. I'm only able to take off maybe half an inch. And Heidi thinks Josh has a couple other things he needs to cut out of his life, too. Josh dresses like the Fonz. Hey. He wears a white T-shirt, jeans, and work boots every day. I don't dress like that when we go out, do I? Yeah. I dare you to make me look better <laughs> than I do right now. So Tim took the dare. Uh, I hear t he was really kind of scared to cut all that off. He was very, very trepidatious about the entire thing. And we had to really do a little therapy during the grooming. Really? And I kept saying to him, you have healthy hair. It will grow back. It will grow but back. Please don't let it. OK, so here's what Josh, <laughs> here's what he looked like before. We remember that. And let's see what he looks like now. Take a look. <laughs> Obviously, you wanted to keep it. I was torn. <laughs> you were torn. You were torn. You look great. Thank you. What do you, what do you think of how you look? I feel like a new man. Feel like a new yeah. man. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe so. Let's, let's talk about it. Now, when I first saw you, when I first saw you, and we were trying to think of a word, you were looking very biblical, I saw it. Well, what I would say <laughs> before was Grizzly Adams as a prophet. As a prophet. <laughs> So was this a perfect time to talk about the importance of haircuts and grooming, really? Absolutely. And I have to say, too, in, in working with all of these gentlemen, I never want to make anyone into my dress-up doll. It was yeah. all about respecting who they are at their core, but making them better, enhancing them. And frankly, I didn't want to take Josh's beard completely off. I mean, the easiest thing in the world would be to, to just strip them all clean and put them all in a tux. They'll look yeah. fabulous. But yeah. how do you make them really resonate who they are, but look like they're, they're polished and sophisticated and belong to the yeah, century. Yeah. So that's what we attempted century. to do. OK, and so the work boots, you still have them. They're just uh, hip Stylish, up. Yeah, exactly. Say, a up. Good fitting pair of jeans, a great leather jacket, and classically tailored pop of color with the sweater, and a great dress shirt. Yeah. What do you think? Yay. What do you think, really? What do you think? He looks great, and, and this is exactly what I've been trying to get him, you know, to do, is still have a beard and hair, but just, he looks great. I, I can't get over it. Thank you, Tim. Can't get over it. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> we did you, Josh. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.